Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to look at Steve Van Buren. There's no time to lose, he's number 58 on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time. We're nearly at halfway, let's do this. Where the family lived. His father was a... It is Steve Van Buren. Uh, and the reason is that his father was a fruit inspector down in fruit the Fruit inspector. That was where the family lived. Whenever people ask me about Van Buren, they try to get some idea of what he was. Tell me who he's like. Kind of imagine running back Riggins in a leather helmet on black and white footage playing in the 1940s. That's what Steve Van Buren was. I mean, he was six feet one, 215 to 220 pounds, which was a real big man for that era. A big power back that could drop his shoulder and knock over a linebacker. So you guys hear 6'1 as a running back and you think that's too tall. You honestly do, don't you? I'm 6 foot 1. I would have been considered big back then. Back in the 60s. Not anymore. Boom! What a hit! But also, when he got into the open field, had the speed to run away Bang! Oh! That! Oh! Go straight through the middle! What are these defenders doing? Let's have a look at that. Had the speed to run away from defensive. Well, one's being blocked. Backs. And the other one's too slow. Beautiful. Steve had a lot of nicknames during his career. The Honduran Hurricane was one of them. He Fuck, was... he looks like, um... Who does he look like? He looks like someone in that picture. Called Wham Bam. He was called Moving Van. He was called Supersonic Steve. He was sort of ahead of his time in terms of nicknames. But I think the real measure of his greatness is the fact that almost 60 years after his retirement, he still holds nine Eagles team records. Rushing, touchdowns. He was the first player, not just in Eagles history, but in league history, to have multiple thousand yard rushing seasons. And again, this is in a time of a 12 game season when a thousand yards was not easy to achieve. <laughs> Look at this, dummy pass to the left. <laughs> Runs to the right. Oh! Oh, I like that. In a time of a 12 game season on a thousand yard. So he's the first guy to ever score a thousand rushing yards in a season. Which was not easy to achieve. Look at this. That would have fooled the fuck out of me. The big dummy to the left and then a quick handoff on the inside to the, the running back, Steve Van Buren. Let's watch this. Bang! Beautiful. He led the league in rushing four times. Rushing champion four times? Has that happened since? I don't believe it has. And he retired as the leading rusher in the history of the National Football League. Following in <laughs> Look at that block! The leading Look at this block right here. Of the National Football League. <laughs> oh my god! His legs would have been broken! <laughs> Following an eight year career with the Eagles, Steve Van Buren was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1965. The ultimate honor from a league he wasn't sure would last. I thought it might fold. There was no money around then. You know when I signed for the Eagles? I signed for 4000 I said, whatever you want to give me, I'll sign for it. I would have played for anything then. The Eagles of 1947, 48, 49. He does look pretty team, tough. One of the all-time great teams. And the guy that made them great was Van Buren. If you look at the two championship games they won, 1948 in the blizzard in Philadelphia. When we set a snowstorm, we really mean it. It's a 7 nothing game. Van Buren scores the only touchdown. The championship riding on his shoulders. <laughs> Steve Van Buren. Look at this. Right tackle for the game. Oh! Oh! The next year they go to Los Angeles. Ten yards out, give it to Van Buren, he's making it over. And play the championship game in a drive. Quick toss, he's got the two blockers, where are they? Spies it. One guy's taken out, he's got another blocker, doesn't need him. Well, yeah, he did actually. Which was... What was that? Van Buren rushes for a hundred... Where the mud is literally up above the ankles of the players. Van Buren rushes for a hundred and ninety-six yards which was the all-time NFL postseason record and stood for generations. And the Eagles won that game 14 to nothing. 196 yards in six inches of mud. It's not, it's not too bad. In the 
biggest moments that that team had. Look at that. Van Buren always delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the greatest eagle of the ball. Yes, Steve. Yes, Steve. Well, we've got to, we just got to look at, um, let's see if he's got any records still. Oh, no, he passed away. Passed away age 91. He was born in 1920, guys. Fuck, he played in the 40s. Philadelphia Eagles from the 44 to 51. They might have said that, but I, I, didn't, I didn't catch that. Fuck. He played professionally for the Philadelphia Eagles, 19th National Football League, 44 to 51, regarded as a powerful and punishing runner with excellent speed. Through eight NFL seasons, he won four league rushing titles. That's a 50% record, including three straight from 47 to 49. Man. At a time when teams played 12 games a year, he was the first NFL player to rush for over 10 touchdowns in a season. A feat he accomplished three times, and the first to have multiple thousand-yard rushing seasons. We heard that. When he retired in 1951, he held the NFL career records for rushing attempts, rushing yards, and rushing touchdowns. He was inducted into the Louisiana State University Athletic Hall of Fame in 1944, and the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame in 1961. He was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1965. Van Buren's jersey number 15 was later retired by the Eagles. He was also a member of the Eagles Hall of Fame and Eagles Sports Hall of Fame. In 2007 he was named to the Eagles 75th anniversary team as the starting running back. So best running back in Eagles history. Huh. He lived quietly in Lancaster, Pennsylvania after his football career where he ran an antique shop with his son-in-law. He also used he also owned a used car lot and a dance hall. His wife Grace died in 1978. Van Buren died of pneumonia on August 23rd, 2012 in Lancaster at the age of 91. Man, if I lived back in the 40s and 50s, this guy would have been my favorite player. This guy's Bo Jackson back in the 40s, isn't it? It really is, it's the equivalent. Awesome stuff. All right guys, well if you have enjoyed that video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And in the next one, we're going to be looking at number 57, Mike Singletary. And I've seen Mike Singletary once before. I feel like he was part of the 1985 Bears. Am I right? Am I right? Well, we'll see if I'm right. And if I am, I'll give myself a pat on the back. Anyways, guys, hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.